In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get your hands on more hype pairs like these in 2024. If you don't know me already, my name is Caden. I've done over $2 million in the reselling space in the last four years. So I'm gonna help you guys hit hype shoes using the exact same strategies that I use. Whether you're a reseller or you just wanna copy these shoes for personal, doesn't matter to me, this video is gonna help you out either way. So let's get right into it. First off, let's get the definition of what a hype release is to me. So a hype release is usually a pair that has been brought up over the last few months and people have been talking about it. And it's typically gonna be dropping on the sneakers app, which if you don't know what the sneakers app is, it is Nike's app that they do sneaker launches like these on and where you can basically buy these shoes. Now I'm gonna get into it later in this video that the sneakers app is not the only way to hit, so don't worry, right? But if you didn't know about it already, that's a great place to go and it's super easy to sign up. Now keep in mind, a lot of new resellers on new people in the space think the sneakers app is the only place to make money from shoes. That is not the case at all, right? It's a really easy place to hit because you can just sign up for a shoe like this that's 150 and make a thousand dollars like nothing, which is awesome, but it's not very consistent. There's other ways that you can buy it and make money from. But in this video, we're just covering how to hit more hype shoes. Now, now, there's really three slash four main ways that sneakers do drops on the, on the sneakers app, which is number one, just a regular draw. So what that means is you have 10 minutes to enter in. So most shoes, most really, really hype shoes, you have about 10 minutes to enter in and then it goes live, okay? So as long as you get in that 10 minutes, you have a chance of hitting. Now there's other ones that are like drop right at the time. So I, I can't remember the name of it, but basically you have two minutes basically to buy that shoe. If anything, it's gonna sell it even quicker than that and there's no draw, it's just really first come, first serve. So those ones, you had to be there right at the time of the release to basically have the best odds of getting those pairs. Thirdly, Nike does exclusive access. So they'll have random events where you might have to scratch off an image or something like that to be able to buy a shoe. Those are my favorite releases because usually people don't know about them. They don't like have the information about it. They're not informed about it. If you follow my YouTube and my Instagram page, you will be informed about it. But if you don't, it's really easy to win because again, not everyone knows. So just by knowing, you pretty much have a big head start on everyone else. And then finally, number four, which is their in-person pickup. So on the sneakers app, they'll have select locations that'll be dropping shoes. So if you have a Nike store near you, you'd be able to sign up and get a guaranteed shoe uh, either that day or the next day, which is pretty sweet. And like I said previously, not every shoe is going to make you money on the sneakers app. So don't go buying every single shoe without knowing what you're doing. In fact, most shoes that drop on the sneakers app are going to lose you money right the sneakers app isn't entirely all hype shoes it's where nike will roll out new shoes that are coming out but they definitely roll out a lot of, a lot of hype shoes on there as well so let's talk about the two hype shoes i'm going to put on screen today that just dropped on the sneakers app if you hit both pairs one of each you would have made over 500 in profit i know 500 in profit which is crazy and a lot of you guys can do this monthly just by following the instructions in this video and other videos on my YouTube channel. So let's get into it, how you could have hit those pairs besides just the sneakers app. So first for the dunks, there's a ton of skate shops that end up dropping these shoes, hundreds across the US. And Nike actually has a website, Nike SB, where you can go to and you can see every single skate shop that's gonna be dropping upcoming releases. So I announced that for you guys, so you guys could see all the different websites that are dropping in the stores. And the reason these are so powerful is because not a lot of people know about it, right? When less people know about it, it's a lot easier to hit. So for reference, we go to some of these local shops, you're maybe only competing against a few hundred people for really like three size runs, which is like 300 pairs. So your odds are really probably around 30%. Versus the sneakers app, there's a release like the Dunks that only had 20,000 pairs and 2 million people sign up. Again, your odds are like 1%, which are way low compared to just going in person. So if there's a shoe you really, really, really want, it's worth the effort to go in person, sign up on these releases, look at all the stores around you. Hell, even drive maybe a little bit to a store just to make sure you get your interest in. Because if you hit, trust me, it's going to be worth it. You'll save a ton of money. Now, it's the same thing with Jordans. A lot of local stores will have these raffles. For example, a local social status was auctioning off the Jay Balwins. The auction was live for only six hours. You had to go in person to sign up. How many people do you actually think saw that announcement within six hours went and signed up for that shoe? How many do you think? It's not that many, right? So that's why those types of shoes are very, very easy to get when you're aware of the stores around you. Keep in mind, this signup was in the afternoon on a Tuesday afternoon. Hardly any people went to it. I bet less than 100 people went. So your odds are very, very high. Last time I did it, I signed up for the Kobe's, um, the Grinches that came out, the reverse Grinches. I got two pairs. It was super easy. There was no competition. And yeah, it was awesome. Once you know where to look, it's really all about effort, right? You just have to actually go to these places, sign up, and you pretty much have a pair guaranteed. Now, another easy way to hit is signing up for raffles. There are so many online websites that give out raffles and that drop nearly every single release. In fact, all the clients inside of my accelerator group, which is my reselling Koji program, all get access to my raffle guides, which is typically anywhere from 50 to 200 different websites that are running a raffle, which is crazy. Again, there's so many stores. And then sometimes I give out these raffle links for free on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you're not already, because I give out raffle links for free on there. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna help you guys hit. And basically it's just a huge Google doc or Google sheet with hundreds of different websites that you can sign up on. And you just go enter in, enter your info. And then if you hit, you get paid, you, you pay for it and then you get the shoe. Again, this one, pretty much everyone can do because it's online, so it's way more of a volume game. You might enter in on 100 different websites and only hit one or two, right? or maybe not even any. Okay, so this one is definitely way more of a volume game. So as you can see, this video already listed a ton of different ways that you can hit. So if you're only entering in on sneakers and you're saying, Kate, I'm not making any money from reselling, I'm not hitting any pairs, 
there's a good chance why and a good reason why. Sneakers app is the easiest way for people to enter. Almost everyone knows what the sneakers app is. If you're any, any sort of reseller or sneaker ad at all, you've heard of it, right? And because of that, everyone enters in on it, so there's the most competition on it. You wanna be able to go to different routes where there's less competition and easier ways to hit. Also, you gotta remember, not all these shoes are gonna be profitable, which is why you have to check pre-market sales to see what shoes are going for before you buy them. Because what I don't want you to do is sign up for 100 raffles, hit all 100 pairs because no one wanted this shoe, and now you're stuck with a ton of crap shoes that no one wants. And again, as a beginner, what you can do is you can go to StockX and Goat, and you can actually enter in the size that you're gonna buy or sell, uh, that you plan to sell, right? And then with that, it'll tell you the payout. So you can know if a shoe you know, like this retails 150, but it's only selling for 170 on Go, so your payout's actually at like 150. Does that make sense to buy the shoe? Not really, right? So you can do the math to actually see if you're gonna make money on the shoe or not. And I recommend doing that before you enter in. Now, one other quick side note, I get this question all the time. Hey, Caden, what sizes should I go for for resale? Ultimately, go for whatever size you want, but I will tell you this. There is a SKU, which is sizes 10 through 13, are usually a lot higher in resale value, but they're harder to get because more people are going for them. So in my opinion, if you wanna just hit a pair, go for sizes eight to 10. They're way less in demand. We're like 9.5 to eight. They're a lot less in demand. So you have a better odds of getting them for sure. And with that being said, the reset won't be as high as those other sizes, but it's better to at least get a pair than not get any at all. All right, so I will say that. Also, I wanna smooth over any of the risks that you have. If you're buying from these websites like Nike, Foot Locker, Chiamps, Hibbit, whatever, they all have really great return policies. Nike, for example, has a 60 day free return policy. So if you do mess up and you buy a shoe and you, you know find out it's not reselling, Worst case scenario, guys, you just go return it. It's not the end of the world and you move on. And remember, if you're looking at it in a reselling, this is not the most consistent way to do it. The reason I say that is if you're lucky, and I'm telling you, if you're lucky, you maybe hit one profitable release a week, which is very rare because that almost always doesn't happen. But if you're lucky, you hit one profitable shoe a week. So what happens on those other six days of the week? You have another, no other way to source. So that's why it's important to learn other ways to source besides just relying on these releases. So if that sounds like your business and you don't have consistency and you're only making money maybe one day of the week and set up all seven, right? I would consider joining my accelerator group. That's where we can help and take your business to a more consistent scale where you can be buying shoes daily, be making money on shoes daily and be getting sales daily. I'm throwing up on the screen right now a lot of success from our clients in the group. In fact, check out this client result right here, Michael. He went from 60,000 to 160,000 in sales on GOAT in just six months, which is absolutely crazy, all right? And obviously that's some of the top results, but even if you're looking to just get 500 to 1,000 bucks a month, it's a really, really great place for you to start. Um, so I'll leave the link down below in the description. We are currently on a wait list, meaning we are launching on June 8th. So as long as you sign up on the wait list, you'll have a guaranteed spot. So when we close the group on June 8th, and it's gonna close again for the next two, three months, you have a guaranteed spot on the group and you'll be completely fine at being a part of the server. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions as well on that. You can shoot me an in, a DM on Instagram. I'd love to talk to you. So again, check the link down below in the description if you're interested in watching that. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. And if you guys do have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram. I'd love to see you on there. Let's keep watching the videos on here. And other than that, have a blessed one, guys.